I was really unique. We're the most manipulated landscape of any state in the U.S. We're one of the most productive landscapes in the U.S. It's provided an opportunity for rural communities to be sustained for generations and for the state as a whole to capitalize on the resources that we have. And it's important for us to preserve that. I experienced one of the worst droughts that we've seen in 2012, and then a couple really wet and heavy rainfall experiences in 2013 and 2014. Uh, and so I look at my experience with that early on in my farming career, and that informed me to build a resilient farming operation. To be a resilient farm, we need to be profitable, but we need to take care of these natural spaces with uh, wildlife and the abundance and diversity that comes with those. Is it possible to find the balance of, you know, the economics to the natural spaces and that trade-off? I definitely think it is. A lot of these spaces that we use on our farm that are less profitable, we can sometimes remove from production and we can be saving money per acre on those inputs, maintaining our yield and then diversifying the space that we have. We're improving economically for us and we're also protecting the resources utilized by others. For I mean, generations, you didn't exactly know how many bushels or where the bushels came from the field. It was just X number of bushels across the whole field. And now that we have precision ag technology, we can go right to those spots and identify those areas that are losing the farmer money. We can see exactly where those problem areas are and start to apply some solutions. The Soil Health and Habitat Program is going to help farmers get a little better understanding of their operation and then provide them some options that are more flexible than some traditional conservation programs out there. You're eliminating and lowering your risk, improving the overall performance of the rest of the field, but we're also providing an opportunity for some high quality habitat in that same operation. It just takes a plan, a will, some good information, and it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of change. You know, our name's been on this deed for a short amount of time, but these species have been here on this landscape for a long, long time, and the land belongs more to them than it does to us. We're just here for a short while, and it's our responsibility to care for what we've been entrusted. We can have both. We can grow feed for livestock, and we can also have a habitat for those species. It's really productive, it's really ecologically diverse, and it's worth investing our time and resources to get that habitat back. It's a humbling privilege to be able to care for a resource as unique and just incredible as this one is.